Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Today I want to show you how I used cedar logs that we cut down in clearing some land to make homemade raised beds using a really inexpensive chainsaw mill. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for joining. It's springtime around here, and we are thinking about the spring garden. We've got our seedlings planted, and they're doing great. But as we get close to planting, I think I need a few more raised beds for our garden area. We plant most things outside of raised beds directly into the soil, but I'm wanting to expand a little bit of our raised beds this year, as we had some good success last year, and it gives us a little bit more control over the soil. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. I've got some cedar logs that I cut down and clearing some area for expanding the garden. I've got a chainsaw mill that I spent $23 on by Timber Tough. But I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna mill these into uh, live edge cedar planks that I can then use to turn into raised beds. So this is a pretty simple thing to do. If you're familiar with how to operate a chainsaw, this will be no problem. All you'll need are a power drill, a 12 foot 2x4, a couple of 2.5 to 3 inch screws, a chainsaw, the mill attachment, and of course your cedar logs. Well let me put that together and show you how it works. So here's the mill attachment that I bought online. It's by Timber Tough. They make a lot of chainsaw mill products. And it actually hooks on your chainsaw, like so. Chainsaw, this hooks on to your bar, if you can see that clearly. And then there's some Allen wrenches that you can tighten. There's actually also an option to drill holes into your bar and attach it uh, with screws that go through the bar. I thought about doing that, but the Allen wrench adjustments uh, keep it on very tight. It didn't loose or wobble or even change the way it was holding. So using the Allen wrench, there's three uh, places to tighten it. And so I tighten it and I'll do that and then show you what it's like attached. As you can see, I've now successfully attached the mill to the bar. This floats and will slide across a two by four or two by six, it can do either. And this is now firmly attached. In fact, you can see how firmly it will actually support the entire weight of the chainsaw, which is what you want it to be able to do. Okay, now I'm gonna mount my two by four onto my cedar log and then we'll be ready to mill. Okay, now I'm gonna put the two by four onto the cedar. The two by four acts as a guide for me to slide my chainsaw down in order to give me a straight cut. Okay, now I'm ready to crank the chainsaw and see how this goes. See, that was successful. It really didn't take that long. And I now have one beautiful slab of live edge cedar. Let's take a look at it. Now that I've milled my first piece, I'm gonna come down the second side and give me piece number two.
So now that I've got my pieces of wood milled, I can cut them and measure them to any size that I want. I can make them eight foot by four foot. I could do uh, you know, six by six. I've got a couple of different options. Uh, I've got a couple I've made, as you can see here, as the finished product. I arrange them out in the garden area, and then all there is left to do is to fill them. Now, to see what we grow in our garden and in the raised beds, you'll have to keep checking back for more videos. But thanks for checking out today. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, uh, please consider doing that. And put anything in the comments uh, that you thought about it, or if you have any questions uh, about any of the equipment I used or methods that I used. All right, thank you and take care. Thanks for watching.